<laughs> Welcome back to Let's Play Illusion of Gaia. I'm the mysterious JG. Last time we figured out how to beat the weird snakehead dudes. This time we're going to not be equipped. All Dragon raised uh, the possibility in a prior video, which uh, the comment is fresh to me, although by now that video is quite far back, that maybe I should be using a map instead of a text guide to find these red jewels because it took a particularly long time to find one in Waturia. Um, I'm sticking with what we got for now because that was the first and only example of it getting really bad. And I don't object to the idea that we should do some work to find these things. But uh, yeah, hopefully we won't have any more where the text description is just like completely way off. But I bring that up because there are in fact more red jewels to be found here including one in the area before the room with only two scorpions. Which is kind of like... That's kind of the definition of bad directions. Like, okay, well, before you get to this, do this. Like, well, wait a second, I don't know where... If you get to the, uh, the Wendy's, you've gone too far. You know, well, I don't know that I got to the Wendy's until I get there. Whatever, I'm not making sense. The worst examples you can get are, hey, do you remember where the such and such used to be? We'll go there. I say, but it's not there anymore, <laughs> so I don't. Uh, these are going to get more complicated, eh? Now I got ones that aren't moving, and. Actually, the Dark Friar is probably not a great idea here because. These things start moving around faster when you strike them, which means that you kind of want to control when... You have to be careful, like, hitting this one and will suddenly cause it to start... ...coming after you, right? So the whole deal is that, uh... ...you want to be attacking them from safety. Might be a good idea to use a dark fryer on the ones that are already stationary. Just to take them out with one shot. Even if it does mean guys start moving around unpredictably. Bottom line is the dark fryer does good damage. Compared to just regular old sword attack. three enemies left in this zone, so let's try to take them out without moving on, if that is possible. We had some weird, flashy enemy over here who was like, I am not going to let you advance, so he appears to be invulnerable and it looks like it's some kind of plot thing. Even the power of the Dark Friar is no match for glowy, spinny guy. So we better, uh, I guess we are getting out of here after all without, I assume we get backtrack into this room to take care of those three enemies. Well, these guys are, uh, fun bubbas. Just gonna hop down and smash you as soon as they take a hit, but otherwise they just hang out, so... Why am I bothering to collect the jewels at this point? Guess the path opens up once I've destroyed uh, all enemies. So destroy all monsters. See, I get death defense increased, and I open up a new path. Just a big flippin' deal. But all the dead... Well, unless I get a new Dark Friar power here. Okay. I keep forgetting to talk to the Gaia statue first. Earthquaker can now be used. So, that's good. The Earthquaker is a dark power that can only be used by Fridan, the Dark Knight. 
This causes earthquakes. The enemy won't be able to move for a long time. Push the attack button when jumping down. Got it, so... Give me some advice. Your dance power is the earthquake. When he uses it, his enemies can't move for a long time. We will not bother to record. However, this is one of those things where they give you the power right before you need it, and we probably won't really need it very much after this. Because that enemy is blocking our path, so using Earthquaker, we stop him from blocking our path. And what do you want to bet? He also won't be invulnerable at that point for some reason. Because they did give us a little uh, platform that we could jump off of. I held the attack button while I jumped there. I guess you have to not... You're not supposed to be holding it when you jump. You're supposed to jump and then press and hold it then. I wasn't ready for this. I wasn't expecting one of those guys. This isn't fair. this particular enemy type. It's gonna kind of make me flee the sea and to avoid taking damage. But he's no power, no, no match for the Dark Friar. And this will allow me to go back into that previous room. There's a treasure chest here which I need to get. There's a good chance it's a red jewel. Particularly if the next area turns out to have two scorpions. Our stir strength has increased. It's an interesting looking zone. It's the road to the main hall. So let's deal with this uh, little side adventure over here first. Does it look like something was going to happen up here? Okay, you guys are just all gonna spaz out at the party time attack. I'm about a dark fright of the face. Okay, so you're my last challenge here, eh? Our hook power has increased. And the treasure chest is a red jewel, as expected. Well, at this point we're running out of space for red jewels and everything else, so let's actually use them. I, mean, I guess I was holding on to them so it would be easy to tell how many I had acquired in my dungeon travels. The fact that we've used very few herbs is uh, causing our inventory to get pretty clustered and crowded. So anyway, moving right along, now we're on the road to the main hall. Only five enemies, kind of surprising. I would expect there to be more going on in this zone. But we got you irritating guys where... Yeah, do that attack. Hey, it's bones. I want those stones, I want those stones, and I'm willing to break a lot of bones. The bones velocity is more faster by something? There's some kind of journal. Huh, should I save state and get you quit? No, probably not. That's a waste. Angkor Wat Research Record by Freezer. There is a temple where a spirit is said to live, but it's only using 1% of my true power. In the main hall, second floor, a bright room blocks the way. You must go through it to reach the top floor. The bright light masks the corridor. 
If you want to meet the spirit, you must wear the black crystal glasses. I saw something shining on the ground near the main hall, but I had to run. Because I was being faced by something that could handle over 1% of my full power. Probably the glasses from the legend. I regret coming here. I hope my child can carry on my dream. I do not remember which character, if any, is the son of that guy. Don't be that guy. I suppose technically it is the smart thing to do is fight them up here because, you know, you're safe. And by up there, I meant just on the side paths. I don't know how much of a difference it really makes. But I didn't want to do that to this guy because I need him doing a stupid head attack before I can... Oh, well, it worked out fine. But just the idea of not doing the earthquake attack when I was set up for it like that was unacceptable. So, landing directly on top of them still doesn't hurt them, and you still take damage. Oh well. Dark Knight for Dan, pretty badass, I gotta say. So there's still one enemy around here somewhere. Way up, way up here someplace. I'm not sure how we get to this enemy. I'm not doing that much talking or commentary. I can't, uh... I'm not sure how we're supposed to get over there. Maybe we have to backtrack to here from the next room? Why right, we main hall first floor. So I said, I said for some reason, since I was using the Dark Friar attack, I couldn't then attack with my sword regular styles, which is not true, and I should still be trying to kill them regular styles. Uh, hello, what happened here? You know, my emulator just froze for a second, that was odd. I know we got the treasure chest on the first floor. Fine, you'll, we'll, we'll run into you again, I'm sure. And you'll be moving unexpectedly fast. Son of a bitch, how did you avoid all that Dark Friar power? How'd you do it again? Oh well. Our stir strength is increased, so that's a thing. Alright, so obviously this is the first floor, so it would appear that there's going to be something going on here with a second floor that you can jump down from. But here's where the road to the main hall. We're back to where we can now fight whatever this enemy is. And it's so, oh, it's a disguise bush. And our death defense has increased, so that was what that. Ooh, something flashing over here. 
There's something shiny on the ground. You've found the black crystal glasses. Pretty sweet. Now let's see. No, so I've, you gotta remember, I've got these black crystal glasses now. So. Black glasses protect from bright light. I won't equip them yet, but when I do, I'll have to make sure to say, it looks like the Dark Knight for Dawn. Can handle the light. Yeah! Because it's CSR my of course. Alright, so let's uh, find our way upstairs, because that's what we gotta do. Setting one foot inside, the floating crystal started to glow. What? Is this where I'm supposed to equip these glasses? These are glasses made of black crystal. They can cut out a lot of light. Okay, so not yet. This is going to get annoying with these little tight spaces. Oh, it's gonna make us turn back into Will. Will I am. Because we have to slide underneath the, uh, Dark Knight for Dawn has no sliding abilities. Well, let's see what the different, uh... Oh, it wouldn't even let me do the Earthquake. Alright, so I think that other one over there was also useless, but this one will let us turn into Young Will. Never try to enter dark space from the side. Went up Isaiah sideways. Looks like you're hurt. Close your eyes. Stand pillar and anchor. What? It stands quietly in the jungle and hides its form when people are near. On this top floor, you will understand why you made the journey. Don't bother recording what's going on, though. Alright, so we gotta turn into Young Will. For some reason, that caused me to frame skip, even though it really doesn't take that long. Young Will will not have Dark Friar powers, and that Earthquaker thing that we got is, as expected, used once. Will does, however, have the Psycho Slide, which is super important because they decided to make it important here. So now these guys get to be extra annoying because we do slightly less damage as well and we can't use uh, Cycle Crusher. power is increased, so that's good. This will get us that treasure chest. Found a red jewel. I'm starting to worry that we missed a jewel. We gotta go see Gem the Jeweler and um, as soon as possible find out how many we're supposed to have because there's four in the Angkor Wat Temple and the one I remember getting one in the first zone, and I also remember this one, as I'm reading the descriptions, this is pretty clearly the third description. So I feel like we missed the second one you're supposed to get in this zone, because it's been like over a week since I played, and I don't absolutely remember whether I got one or two here in Angkor Wat. Oh, so I was using those glasses and didn't even realize it, because I couldn't get around the zone otherwise. I 
I'm getting annoyed by this zone. Big spinning around the attack guys are um, not much of a threat, but they can take a little patience sometimes. A little patience, yeah. These guys, however, little brown demon skull face things, just really get on my nerves. Enemies with like long periods of invulnerability that you're still obligated to deal with and not just avoid. Although you're not in this game, I just. I have a thing about taking out every enemy to, to get all the uh, stat boosts. So let's just assume that we're supposed to hop down here. Psycho slide skills. To pay the psycho slide bills. Punched right in the face by a giant robot dude. It's not a robot, but... There we go. My health power is increased. So let's jump into the first little gap here. Let's really hope we get to return to Angkor Wat in case I didn't get all the red jewels. Gotta keep a separate save slot when I finish this video, just in case. Oh, and you have to press a button to start, otherwise you hang in the air forever. It gets really good hang time. I thought you had me, but my psycho slide saved the day. I've gotten better at fighting these guys, mostly it's about just spazzing out. I don't think I have enough room to start a run. Oh, that's interesting. I defeated him with this guy. And Psycho Slidey does not take you off the edge. But our death defense has increased, so that's the thing. So, I guess we're supposed to go up this way. Main Hall 4th floor. Uh, no, there's a red jet, a jewel we're supposed to find on this floor. 3rd floor. Well, again, I'm gonna have to keep more than one save slot going because I'm... Getting a little anxious. I'm not seeing an obvious place to drop down a level. Yeah, and that's that's like some plot stuff going on up there. Can't be dealing with that just yet. No, you know what? Save the safe state and go go check it out. Because there are, there are times where there would be like a a you know cool, inspiring plot music is playing in a dungeon room, but you're still moving around and doing your own thing and not... It's not like this is boss fight music or something. We were told that when we get to the top floor, we'd find out the purpose of our journey, too. Oh, I don't know who this is, but they gotta be pretty old. Well, I've been waiting for you to come for thousands of years. I didn't mean to, but... New seat cover. What? Who are you? I am dreaming. Time has passed since the dream began, and my body became what you see. I'm going to show you a strange image. Close your eyes. Take off your clothes. What is going on here? I, uh, oh. Looks like my, uh, microphone cord somehow touched my touchpad in such a way that it closed my emulator. Weird. I'm going to show you a strange image. Take off your clothes, and I will take a picture of you. 
a strange adventure. Oh, it's Neo Japan. It's some kind of weird Mode 7 modern Japanese city. I think. I think that's what's supposed to be going on. And then the music just cuts out. Huh? What was that? That is the new world. The new world order. That world is all gray. This world has blue water, green mountains, brown earth all over, purple horseshoes. You will usher in that world. No, I don't want to. It looks terrible. I just said, with me? Such a strange world? Tall trees replaced by buildings. Rivers replaced by roads. No matter what kind of world people have, if they think they're happy, they will be happy. That's the purpose of nightly sitcoms. Opiate for the masses, go to the village and restore those turned to stone to their original condition. Release those who have been turned gray back to their natural state. Wait, so are you in favor of gray or against gray? Because you just told us to usher in the new world of, like, buildings. Yeah, whatever. When the blinding light stopped, I stood quietly as if nothing had happened. Then I found the Gorgon flower held tightly within my hand. You have the Gorgon flower. And the Gorgon Zola. Alright, well. We got the Gorgon flower. That's a plot item that we need. Uh, we get a red jewel for this, but I guess it's mandatory for the story anyway, which is to help those people who were petrified back in the uh, native village. Looks like we have to make our way back manually through this whole dungeon. Which is kind of a kind of a bummer, I guess. We've cleared it of enemies, but I'm still missing some red jewels. zone that we might not have been to, though. Down here. We've ever been here? This is supposed to be at the end of a path. Now this... Yeah, we had been there before. This could get really frustrating, because then the issue becomes, if you don't know which red jewel gem you're missing, you, you repeatedly search around the zones that you've already been to, looking for the one that you'd already found. Though it shouldn't be too bad, because, um... They don't generally just show up, um... They don't generally just show up... Like, sometimes in, like, cities and stuff... They will be, um... Located just in a pot or whatever, but usually... In the dungeons, there actually are in a treasure chest. So that's a good thought. I should actually be looking at the, uh... Yeah, there's no, there's no indication that there's an item we missed in any of these rooms so far. I guess I just gotta get back to Gem the Jeweler. Count how many gems it's supposed to have and see if I'm current, but this is the second floor, I think. Everything seems to be good. This is the third floor. Everything seems to be good. No indication of a treasure chest that we couldn't get. The fourth floor is like the end of the zone, I think. Oh no, there's a treasure chest here that we didn't get. So maybe there's a... 
a typo as far as which floor is which. Because, uh, yeah, you know what? I mean, I mentioned earlier in the video I was defending this fact a little bit against all saying, hey, you should be using a map. You wasted some time there. And I was like, no, no, this is just one red jewel that was a little bit goofy, and now it's, it's immediately coming back. It could be an issue. So how do we get over there? How do we reach that zone? Is there some kind of hidden path? Drop down from up here some way. No, this one doesn't even have like a any kind of counter, and you can't even press any. You can't really do anything with any buttons here. All right, well, I think I'm gonna have to puzzle this a little bit off screen. Uh, when we come back, I will show you where that red jewel is. But I'm still worried that we missed another one. The red jewels, jewels, red jewels. Wow, that was. <laughs> Not what I meant to say. The Red Jewel's gonna pay off huge, folks. I guarantee it. Just wait. Catch you guys next time.